John Beckman, Professor John Beckman, Dr. John Beckman, the father of Sid, the transgender mother of sin, your hostess with the mostest. Get a green screen in the back. Hopefully it doesn't turn black. Half my brain tied behind my back, just to make it fair. Okay, I have to start getting in the swing of making scientific illustration demos. That was one criticism that I got last class was people wanted more more demonstrations i guess you could say more like i guess what you would imagine to be painting with uh what's his name bob ross something like that painting with bob ross <laughs> okay i think i can handle that um let's just draw some bones and like, let's draw, let's draw like a femur. I'll show you like how I would approach it. First thing is you want to get your brush. You want to get a good brush. I like, so I, I do like these round brushes, but I, um, I, but I typically don't draw with them. One of the things that I really need is, a sharp edge. So I tend to go to something that looks like this, this pattern. Let's try this, something that can give me like a sharp edge, let's see. Yeah, and you really wanna just make sure that like your sensitivity is correct. Let's try, let's try switching to eraser quick with E, press the E button. So make some marks, press the E button, switch to the eraser, erase them. Go back to the B, press the B button, make some marks, just get used to it, get used to the brush, hit the E button, erase them, just get, just get used to it. So it looks like this is gonna work. All right, let's do, I'm just going, I'm just going from my, my head, I'm not looking at nothing. So this is probably not gonna be what like scientifically accurate, but let's just kind of like, do a femur. The nice thing about bones is bones are very um, hard to mess up because you expect bones to be cracked and kind of like jagged, etc. All right, so try to try to get something like that. Something like that. So you see how I put these kind of like jagged edges in again. Um, and, and the one thing that I did with that brush there is I just tried to keep a clean, just a clean mark, clean line. Try to get a clean line and complete your shape. Then I would, I'm gonna zoom out here, look at this. Obviously like this one looks a little bit too small. So once you have kind of like your shape, now you can start kind of like editing. So let's get that eraser. I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna edit. So you're gonna wanna edit your bone to the proportions that you enjoy. <laughs> oh, God. What am I saying? That's not bad. Now this side looks a little bit funky. So let's bonify this. There we go. Okay, that's some kind of bone. That's a good start, certainly. So we already broke a rule that I shouldn't have done. I drew the bone on the background layer. Now I'm gonna have to fix that. 
So that was already that was already our first mistake. So to fix that, you guys probably made the same mistake as me. To fix that, unlock the layer. We're gonna select color range, shadows. I told you, there's, I actually have a video on this. This is a common mistake that I always make. Let's select the shadows, hit okay. Edit, copy, okay. Now I'm gonna go to layer, new layer. So now there's a new layer on top. Control V, I'll just paste, paste a bone. Okay, now I can get rid of this. And the way that I'll get rid of these marks on the bottom layer, switch my brush to white. And I will just paint over top of it with white. The reason I'm not quote unquote erasing is because if you erase the background, then the background is clear, no longer white. And now I can turn that layer back on. Okay, so now I have fixed it. So now I got my bone on a layer above the background. Now, as we work, let's pay attention. Let's pay attention to our layers. Let's do new layer. We can label these layers. Bone. Bone stuff. All right, there's three things we can do. We could at this point cross hatch. We could stipple or we could gray wash. I still haven't decided which one, I suppose we'll just do all three. Um, but let's add some, let's add some detail, right? Like let's, let's like make this bone artistic. Let's artify this bone. Like it's not a bone unless it's got a fracture, right? So let's, let's put a fracture and let's put some, some marks, some jagged. There we go, we got some fractures. Um, let's add some black. So I'm gonna envision that the light is shining down like this. So underneath here, it's gonna be darker. Underneath on this side, going to be darker. All right, now is when we need to start deciding like, okay, how are we going to treat this? Let's start with crosshatch. So let's make a layer, new layer. Let's call it crosshatch. And let's crosshatch this bone. Probably worth looking at if you if you're trying to decide like, okay, now now like what do I do? How do I do this? Probably at this point worth looking at some inspiration. I mean, like if you don't know what crosshatch is, you really want to take a look at. Jose Posada, especially if you're doing like bones. So let's let's take a look at this. See if we can get some inspiration. It's not very cross hatched. Here we go. See, just simple, simple cross hatching on bones always looks really good. beautiful see how he's he's putting just dark dark blacks where the shadows are some bones he's even entirely coloring black like that's worth mentioning like you might think oh bones are white duh but here look he's colored 
he's colored a full bone entirely black and then he's cross hatched with a white. So you can get just a very beautiful piece here. Let's actually try that. So let's try let's try two different versions of crosshatch. We'll do one crosshatch where the bone is white, one crosshatch where the bone's black. So let's do let's change this layer's name to crosshatch white. All right. Let's 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 do it now. Remember, the sun's coming from up here, so it's it's going to be underneath down here. That's dark. You want your what the? It disappeared. That was strange. You want your cross hatching to follow the contours of the bone, simple enough. Now here's a question, as we get closer to this, how are we gonna treat this, this, this intersection of, of crack? Again, just try to stick with, the, with what's happening. Okay, so here it's thinned out, let's thin it back in. Following the contours. Now the edges are always gonna be a little bit darker, right? Um, so you have to kind of decide, okay, how am I gonna treat the middle? And how am I going to treat the darkest edge? Darkest edge, now let's let's start doing some stuff like this. And you may have already seen this, like stuff like this in the claws video. Like this is very similar. Again, you, you want your crosshatch to follow the contour. And we know that the bones are going to be like rounded. And now again, here I'm I'm debating like, okay, how do I treat this? This is a fracture. If I cross hatch, it's going to destroy the fracture. Like I'm thinking about that. But the answer here that I think is going to be the best answer is to just double down on the fracture, make it make it thicker. Double down on that fracture. And then continue the cross hatching. You know, I'm just experimenting. I don't know if that was the best decision or not. Here on this side, there should be fewer because it's that's the sun, that's the sunny side. Let's double down on this one too. And now let's double down on the on the black. And now let's just even it out. It shouldn't be too white, not too white in the middle. All right, let's zoom out, let's check it out. Zoom out, it's important to look at your piece close and, and far away. And that's one reason why digital art is so fun. You can zoom in and out in an instant and take a look at it. Okay, let's do one final thing. Let's do, um, let's do some shadows. So let's do, we'll do some hand, hand drawn shadows. Let 
I'm going to leave a little bit of edge there. So you know exactly where that bone ends and where shadow starts. Let's do How would I do that? Something like something like this. Again, let's let's leave a little bit of the white edge. Just a little bit of that edge. So you know what's shadow and what's bone. I'm actually I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this. This is this is wrong. I'm gonna erase this like that. That's tighter. That's pretty that's pretty styling. That's a nice that's a nice femur. That's looking good. Simple, simple stuff, start simple. All right, we did cross hatch. I said I would try the reciprocal cross hatch. Let's try the, let's try the black box cross hatch. So let's, let's, we can just shut these layers off. Actually, like, let's just like, we'll merge them. Let me see. So it's all one layer. Okay, so I can just shut that off. Now let's do, let's do another layer. See. Let's call this reciprocal cross hatch. And we'll do this, we'll do this like posada style. So that means we got a color in this bone. So you see how I just increased the size of that brush there. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill in the edges quick, and then we'll come in quick, fill the whole thing in. Now this is gonna get interesting. <laughs> I don't know what to expect here. All right, let's grab white. And let's start, let's see what it's gonna be. It's gonna be brightest here. Darkest down here. So let's do let's do it light. Just barely touching here. I like this. This is fun. Interesting. 
So one of the things I'm debating, like, should I invade this edge with white? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just try. I'll just try. I'll just experimenting. Not so bad. Let's try to put it in that. How, how would you put in that fra that fracture? Something like that, maybe? Let's just, yeah, let's, let's, let's go all in. Let's go all in here. Scratch it up. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. Let's see. Let's zoom out. Let's... It's a little sloppy. Definitely like that one better. All right. We did both styles. Let's do, let's do the stipple. Stipple. I usually do the stipple with a some kind of like a brush. Like a splatter brush. Let's see what we got here. Special effect, yeah, here we go. Special effects brushes. What's this gonna look like? Let's see. Yeah, this is something what I'm looking for. Let's get that black color. All right, so here's what you want to do. This is going to be good. It's going to look good. So get one of these. Get one of these special brushes. These splatter brushes. Okay. Then what I want you to do is I want you to select the magic wand tool. Okay. So it's right here. If you got it set, you can normally just press W. It's the hotkey. Okay. Now in the bone layer, I want you to select inside of the bone. So what's selected is inside of the bone. That means we're not gonna stipple outside the bone. Okay, now let's, let's try this. What I'm gonna do is stipple heavily on the edges. This is probably gonna be like the most, definitely like the most realistic bone. Um, let's stipple heavy on the bottom, but not so much on the top. Select, deselect. Like I'm starting to feel the, the selection is a little constraining. Like I know it's clean, but like, so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm actually gonna, like it feels constraining to me. So I'm gonna actually like do this and I'm gonna come back in and erase. I just don't like, like I don't like the way that it feels. This is definitely like it's a pretty bone. All right, let's come back in and let's erase.
Feels good. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. It was good to be drawing again. <laughs> step back if that happens. Control Z is a step back. Looks nice. That looks nice. I wonder if we can. So let's let's do a hand drawn shadow now. So I like that shadow. Get that brush. We're gonna have to switch. Switch back to our ultimate inking thick and thin brush. Let's get get the shadow custom shadow. Or not? Let's let's not let's let's just make it dark. There we go. I'm gonna enhance that crack. <laughs> oh, what am I saying? All right, enhance the crack. Let's, let's enhance the crack more. Ooh, let's make it look painful. All the way up, like a, oh God, that would hurt. Fracture like that. Uh, the Conor McGregor fracture. <laughs> oh, it's, we can make it a Conor McGregor fracture. Oh my God. Ah, that's too much. Let's step back. Let's do it like that. Whoo, that looks nice. All right, let's 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 look at them all. We got this one. We got reciprocal cross hatch. We got the stipple. Oh, sometimes you combine them. Sometimes you combine them and, and magic stuff happens. Let's see. Let's... Doesn't that look, God, doesn't that look beautiful? Whoo, that is magical. All right, let's do the gray wash. Gray wash. Here's how you do the gray wash. All right, we're gonna wanna, same thing, magic wand, hit W, magic wand. Make sure you actually have the magic wand. Select inside the bone, go to your gray wash layer. Let's get, um, let's make our brush big. Um, here you can make a choice of whether you want smooth, transition gray wash or sharp gray wash. I like sharp gray wash, like border transitions. So I'm gonna leave, stay with this brush, um, hit the black and I'm gonna make opacity. Let's, tr let's try like 15%. Okay, so let's see, sun's on the top. You just got to think of where's the sun, where's the sun at? And you can always come back in and you can erase, okay? So the opacity is at 30%. So every, everyone is progressively going to get a little bit darker. And you, again, you have to be careful. You got you to form, you got to form fit this. You got to think when you're doing this. Gray washes always look, Always looks bomb. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in here, get a little bit closer detail. Get in there.
And now then again, like I'm starting to feel constrained. So here, here's an interesting thing to enhance that crack. Let's make the right side of it like way darker. Like it like got shut, pushed down, if that makes sense. Let's see. Maybe that just looks weird. Let me step back and see. I think we just went too far. That looks pretty good though. Again, you really want to learn that step forward, step back. It's pretty, pretty important. It's these different techniques are just so like pleasing. So pretty. All right, let's uh, select, deselect. Now here's where we can come in, do the opposite. Let's get some white, 15% opacity. Let's let's touch up some of these areas. I'm gonna actually increase the opacity here. Let's touch up some of these areas. It should be highlights. Like let's highlight the edge of this crack. There we go. Where's some gray wash? Let's do uh, let's do shadow. We'll give this one a shadow too. Change that opacity back up. Shrink that size down. Custom shadow. Again. Bones are so forgiving. Nobody's going to notice if you make a mistake in a bone. That's why I like I like to start with bones. Nobody feels bad. Everybody's an artist. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. Zoom out. All right, there's some gray wash. We got the gray wash. We got the stipple. We got the crosshatch. Let's pick our favorite one here. Crosshat. Oh, ooh, that crosshatch with the. I what I did is I decreased the opacity of that layer. Look, it's at 49%. Here's what we'll look at it full first. Okay, so full opacity cross hatch, reverse cross hatch. That one's my least favorite. Stipple, probably the most realistic, like in terms of like texture. That gray wash, smooth. Let's see what that look like all together. Let's let's decrease this. Let's put it back. Like when those shadows, those different shadows that we drew overlap, like, look at that. Look at how RC that looks. Why is this the gray wash layer? What if we decrease that opacity a little bit? Let me see, I'm just testing it out. Zoom in a little bit. Let's see what we're actually doing here. Definitely looks cooler with it, for sure. Let's play with order. Above, below. Make it better below. God, that looks good. There you go. Los Bonos. We're pros. Last look. Zoom in. To zoom out.
We're pros, 35 minutes on one femur. <laughs> oh, not a waste of time. Not a waste of time at all. Have a good day. Cheers. Show me, I show me, I show me, death hell.